Round Rock, Texas continues to be a hot spot for people relocating to the Central Texas area. You've got a lot to do there. There's a lot for families. And year after year, it gets voted as one of the best places to live in the area. In this video, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna talk about some of these things and help you decide if Round Rock's for you. If you wanna know more, stay tuned. So Round Rock's located just north of Austin, and I mean just north of Austin, and it's known for its strong economy. In Round Rock, you've got manufacturing, you've got technology, and you've got a very, very large healthcare system as well. I mean, you're talking three major hospitals in Round Rock. You've got Baylor, Scott & White, Seton, and St. David's. There's not too many cities around here that have all three located within their city limits. So if you guys are moving here looking for a job, you've got a lot of opportunities. You've got Dell Computers here. I mean, Dell's been here forever. In fact, Dell is one of those companies that kind of was here that created the, the start of the growth within Round Rock, I would say. Um, definitely provide a lot of jobs and definitely have a lot of opportunities. It's, it's one of their headquarters. So if you guys are moving to the area and you're looking for a job in the tech industry, check out Dell. If you guys are looking to get into healthcare, not only do they have all those hospitals I mentioned, but there's a ton of like medical clinics and stuff as well. So Round Rock's just one of those cities that's that's got a lot. It offers a lot as far as jobs go. If you guys are moving to the area and you've got kids, check out niche.com or greatschools.org for reviews. But just know that there are a ton of schools and a ton of options when it comes to Round Rock ISD. Uh, any, every part of town, anywhere you look, like everywhere you turn, it seems like there's an elementary school at the least. Now, keep in mind, you got as it is in most cities, typically you'll have more elementary schools than a little bit less, or a little bit less, yeah, a little bit less middle schools and then fewer high schools because they all kind of feed into each other. But if you take a look through Round Rock, you'll notice that there, there's just a ton of options for you guys. So make sure you check out, again, niche.com or greatschools.org. Read those reviews, find out if it's gonna fit what you're after, and go from there. Another thing you're going to find that's pretty cool about Round Rock is it's very diverse. Real quick before we get into that, if you guys are looking to move to the area, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends. We'd love to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. I mean, you have people from all over the place coming to the area, and Round Rock is one of those cities that when Austin started growing really fast, Round Rock was one of the first places people would come because of all the jobs that are there. Uh, before you get out into more, the more rural areas and like Round Rock started blowing up and getting big before that. Uh, one thing to note is that if you're after that country feel, you're really not going to find that in, in Round Rock. It's more of a dense suburban feel now. Um, it used to be, I mean, back in the day, you can talk to some people that they'd say there's one stoplight and a gas station and maybe maybe a couple shops and that was Round Rock. Uh, but nowadays it's definitely a big city. You've got outlet malls, you've got Bass Pro Shop, you've got Ikea, you have a ton of different shopping strips, bunch of different restaurants. I mean, if you're, if you're looking for that one-stop shop for places to live where you just have everything you need nearby, Round Rock's a good, great place to check out. There's several HEB grocery stores, which a lot of people here, when you, when you live in Texas, you love HEB. Well, most people do anyway. I can't speak for everybody, but generally speaking, everyone will tell you HEB is awesome. There's several in Round Rock.
buy a home, rent a home, you want a condo, you want a townhouse, you can find all that kind of stuff in Round Rock because it's just so grown out that there's lots of opportunities. As far as the pricing on those houses, it's pretty affordable. I mean, there are gonna be your more expensive areas just like anywhere else, but generally speaking, Round Rock is not too terribly bad when it comes to house pricing, home pricing, home pricing, house pricing, you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, if, if you're looking for a new build, you can still find those there as well. So definitely one of those cities that, it, I mean, it just offers a lot, guys. I, I, I can go on and on and on about this stuff, but just know Round Rock's gonna offer you a lot as far as housing is concerned. Back to the diversity about Round Rock, you're gonna find that the population of Round Rock is made up of young professionals, retirees, families. I mean, it, it covers it covers across the board. You've got golf course communities, which tend to draw a lot of people in that, I mean, I kinda play golf, so I get it. And, and I say kinda play golf. I can drive around in a golf cart, smack some golf balls around, lose a couple, find a couple. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of golfer I am, guys. But there are people who are actually pretty decent at golf, and there's several golf course communities that you can pick from if you're choosing to live, and that's where you wanna live. I know a lot of the retirees that come into town, they, they ask about those. Um, so it's definitely a hot spot for retirees as well as just your young families and, and your uh, young professionals. I'm not gonna go into crime rates um, because one, I'm not supposed to and I don't wanna get myself in trouble. But uh, I will tell you that Round Rock Police Department has a very, very solid reputation. Uh, those men and women that work there are fantastic. They get a lot of community support. You'll see them always out in the community involved, not just with their doing their job as far as like law enforcement and traffic enforcement and stuff like that, but just community events. I mean, every, it seems like every month they've got something different going on. They're definitely, the belief of the police department is definitely one that's like, we work together, not against each other kind of thing. So if that's important to you guys, Round Rock's a great place to check out. If you wanna check out some of those crime stats, again, jump on the police department website, take a look through there. They typically have graphs and you can kind of see some percentages and stuff like that. Um, you can also check out niche.com. They have some of it in there as well. But uh, just know that strong unity, police, community. <laughs> I'm rhyming now, guys. What in the world? I should not even put this in this video. <laughs> as far as your quality of life in Round Rock, the city takes it pretty seriously. I know that for the longest time, they don't like to see things that kind of deteriorate property values. They don't want to see junked cars parked in the front yard kind of thing. Um, if that's your thing and you, you've got like an auto body type shop, make sure you get into the right property, like a commercially zoned property where you're allowed to do that kind of thing because Round Rock takes it seriously. Uh, another thing with the quality of life is there are a ton of parks. There's huge parks too. Old Settlers Park is huge. I mean, you can go out there, you've got sport fields, 
you've got water parks, you've got trails, you can hike and bike, you can play disc, like frisbee golf. Speaking of golf course communities, it's not an actual community you live in, but you can play the frisbee golf there. Uh, they got a pond, they got playgrounds, they got all kinds of stuff. Every year there's events out there. They do a sand bass reenactment in which I think they may have stopped that around the COVID time. But uh, I'm not sure if they started that back up or not. I haven't heard about it in a couple years. But just an example of some of the things that they do out there. Uh, very big park, lots to do. Uh, if you're into the outdoors, Round Rock's got a lot going on. Uh, if you guys are into water parks, Kalahari Water Resort is there. It's one of the largest around. And it's an indoor one too, so you can go year round. And if and don't worry, I know you're like thinking, well, that's like a resort style. It is, but they also have day passes for people who live locally to come out and enjoy it for the day. You're not having to go rent the hotel room and all that other stuff, which you can do. I did try that out one time. It was worth the experience. But uh, going back, I'd probably do the day pass here and there. I mean, it's it's a fun water park, so definitely something cool to do. If you're into baseball, the Round Rock Express, Dell Diamond, right across the street from Kalahari. Uh, it's a pro team. Uh, the minor league team for the Texas Ra no 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 Houston Astros wait they go back and forth guys which one is it let me know drop a comment down below is it the Astros or is it the Texas Rangers right now I lose track they've switched a couple times one too many times either way you're into baseball definitely fun all the local little leagues around they typically have their little league day out at Dell Diamond you go out there the kids get to watch the pros play uh, the stadium itself is pretty fun lots of stuff to do um, but yeah guys as far as outdoor activities and things to do in the area and not only that You have your close being in round rock. You're close to everything else, too So if you wanted to go to the lake, it's not that far If you got a boat and you want to take it out and take a little trip out to less crowded lakes You're not too terribly far because you've got IH 35 that runs through round rock And you also have highway 79 that runs through round rock and those take you all over the place so 1431, another major thoroughfare. In fact, I could probably do a whole section on just the roadways. In fact, maybe I'll do that. I'll pull up a map right now and kind of show you guys all these different roadways. If you guys are finding this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button for me, and tap that little notification bell so you'll be notified when we release future videos. Let's talk about the roadways through Round Rock, okay? So here's Round Rock. You can see it's kind of outlined in this red and it's kind of colored in the middle. Uh, if you look, you'll see, and let me get my little, uh, here we go. All right. Now we're talking. Okay. So if you look, this is IH35. IH35 runs all the way from Canada to Mexico. So this is going to get you all around. If you keep going south, you're going to end up in Austin, then San Antonio, they can get all the right in the San Antonio area to get to Houston. There's some better ways to go, but just know that that's where that's going to take you. If you go up this way and go north, it's going to take you all up into Gerald, Salado, Temple, Waco, all the way up to Dallas, if that's where you're going. So just know that that's a great option. It's nice to have this nearby. Now, with that being said, when you get into Round Rock down in this area, it does start to back up traffic during certain hours of the day. And you're going to kind of have to sit through that getting through here. So just keep that in mind. Luckily, there's another route that you can take. If you take Highway 79, which is right here, and that takes you all the way through Hutto, all the way out to Taylor, which is right here, and it can keep going. But if you take Highway 79 to the toll road, 130, which is this guy here, this is going to run you all the way down down in Austin. It'll take you to the airport. That's one of the quickest ways to get to the airport to avoid all this traffic on 35. Uh, if you keep going north, it kind of dumps off into Georgetown up here, right around Georgetown, Gerald border kind of. But uh, just know that that's another option to get you down into Austin if you don't want to sit through the IH35 traffic, which is not fun for anybody. Let me clear this out. All right. Now, you saw Highway 79. You've seen Toll Road. You've seen IH35. Let's talk about this road here. This is going to be called University Boulevard in Round Rock. As soon as you get out of Round Rock, it turns into 1431, which will take you all the way to Cedar Park. And if you keep going, it'll take you into Leander. So that's another major thoroughfare to get around. If you keep going this way, 
it'll get you it'll get you up into Hutto, like parts of Hutto. You can see Hutto is right here. So it'll definitely get you there. Another great way to get around. All right. Now, if you guys are trying to get to certain parts of Austin, and you'll find if you're not just going straight to downtown Austin, even if you are, you can go around sometimes. Uh, IH35 comes down. You can hit 45, which is another toll road. That'll cut you, if you go west, it'll take you to 183, which is another large road that's traveled that'll take you all the way up into liberty hill i mean it goes cedar park leander liberty hill is up here if you keep going if you go south it'll take you down here to loop one or mopac this is the domain arbitr oh, i said that wrong arboretum arboretum i said that wrong i always say it wrong um yeah slap me guys uh but that'll take you into Austin. So the, the loop will also take you into Austin. So you don't necessarily have to go all the way to 183 to get down there. There's also a way to pick it up over here. And that cuts you down into, it's more Northwest Austin-ish. So just know that there's definitely ways to get around. There are, all the major roadways are accessible in or around Round Rock. So that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons why it's so popular for people who are commuting because there's so many options to get in, to get where you're going. So anyway, guys, that'll wrap that up. If you guys have any questions on any of that, please let me know. Drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any of them for you. For the adults, the downtown Round Rock area has been revitalized. I mean, that place is pretty popular. Uh, you don't need to drive into Austin to have a, a nice night out. You can go down to downtown Round Rock and there's plenty of places to go, good places to eat. And it's all right there within Round Rock. So if you want to avoid all that nonsense going down at 6th Street, and I say nonsense because lately it's not the kind of place where I'd want to hang out. When I moved here 14, 15 years ago, 6th Street was pretty fun. I mean, we go down there and we'd have a nice night out and it felt relatively good. Now it's just the way the crime has changed in Austin and the politics there, which is a whole separate issue. Um, downtown Ron Rock's a great option. And they've redone it so it's so it makes it like one of the better options. Community. What's that like in Round Rock? Well, it's pretty good. Um, it has gotten big enough to where there's probably like little individual communities in the community as a whole, but there's still big events every year. At Christmas time, they put up a bunch of Christmas lights in Old Settlers Park and you can kind of drive through. It's really neat. Uh, they, they probably put up a million lights or so. I mean, it's it's a lot. There's there's even a little light tunnel to drive through at the very end. Uh, very cool at Christmas time. Fourth of July, there's a parade downtown Round Rock where they drive through and everybody's celebrating. You got fireworks at Old Settlers Park that they have every every Fourth of July. Uh, Dell Diamond, if you're into fireworks, Dell Diamond after the baseball games, they like to shoot off fireworks just about every every home game. So that's that's another neat little thing if you're into that. Um, little little side note there but yeah definitely a lot going on as far as community events there's definitely a lot of opportunities for sports Old Settlers Park has a big baseball complex where they have tournaments and teams come from all over the area to compete uh, the Round Rock Sports Center is in is not in the same area as the park but it's kind of on the other side of town but they have a bunch of volleyball courts so they hold volleyball tournaments there and basketball courts as well uh, so lots of options there if you guys are into like FedEx, UPS type jobs, they've got both of those in Round Rock. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So if you're looking for those opportunities, I definitely encourage you to check out Round Rock. So if you were to ask me, who's Round Rock for? I'd say everybody. There's only one type that I would say you should probably stay away from Round Rock and not really stay away from Round Rock but if you're after that country type property or a farming type property or you want a bunch of acreage you're not going to have much luck finding that in Round Rock. Most of those properties that have acreage that are left are they've been in families for a long time and slowly little by little some of them are getting sold off and they're putting in the next big thing. So it's not that I say you shouldn't live in Round Rock. It's more you're not going to find what you're looking for in Round Rock. So just know that that's there's places next door. Um, Hutto, you can probably find some of that. 
put you right next door to Round Rock. If you go further out to Taylor, you can still find some of that, at least for now, with Samsung going, Samsung building their chip plant there. Who knows what that's going to look like 10 years down the road. But uh, definitely going to be hard to find that farm type property in Round Rock. They're still there, kind of. But like I said, I, I don't see them come up for sale too often. And usually it's because they're, they're family owned and they've been in the family for generations. If you guys are looking to move to the area, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends, doesn't matter. We'd love to hear from you guys. We are licensed agents here in the state of Texas and we would love to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. Please subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button for me, tap the little notification bell so you'll be notified when we release future videos. Remember, we got your back when you're moving to Austin, Texas. Until the next time, catch you later.